Now for today's topic we are gonna study Paleozoic Era. Now the Paleozoic Era started with the large explosion of life in Earth's oceans. It ended with the biggest destruction of species in the Earth's history which wiped out 90% of Earth's life. First land creatures came in this era. Now the life started in the ocean so and there were these jawless fishes and uh, when the mass extinction the asteroid hit and wiped out most uh, half of the life. Now it contained of six periods Cambrian period, Ordovician period, Silurian period, Devonian period, Carboniferous period, and the Permian period. Now in this chart, it's given how much uh, each period was. Of course, it's not in the decimals, it is straight percentage. Either wise, uh, otherwise, the Devonian period was the largest and the Carboniferous was the second. And then comes the Cameron period, which was the first period. Then comes the Permian period, the last period. And the Ordovican period, the second period. And then comes the third period, Silurian period, with 8%. Now, so the first period was the Cambrian period. Here's an image of it. And about for 542 million years ago, the Earth witnessed a great expansion of life, animal life, equivalent to the Big Bang. Now, first arthropods came in this era. Now, this era is also known as the era of trilobites because there were many trilobites. It doesn't show in this picture, but there were many trilobites, and this was the largest uh, animal of that time which was two feet long and another one was discovered which was uh, which came in the second called as titan or chorus kinesi. it is named after the characteristic organism of the time and one of the first arthropods so now the trilobites are one of the first arthropods and trilobite coexists with sponges you can see the sponges right here seaweeds you can see seaweeds and a range of invertebrates first vertebrates with jaw now this is the invertebrate it's a worm it is of the annelida class annelida uh, family and this is a marilla picaia priapolid hallucicania and this is a anomalocaris now a bigger picture of this can show that this is an anomalocaris and it was comparatively small to the humans but it was one of the first animals and it was one of the largest of its time now this hallucigania tentacles were used as its locomotory organ and this marilla is a small swimming creature which was about 10 centimeter long similar to the modern day jellyfish this picaya is the oldest vertebrate one of the and this priapolid was a sea worm now coming on to the second period we have our ordovician period now the ordovician period was widely diverse but it still existed mainly in the ocean Fishes came in this era, a uh, period, and the small vertebrates came, like the gastropods you can see here. But there was a mass destruction at the end of the period, and almost half of all the marine lives died. Now, you can see that this is a trilobite which we saw in the last uh, slide. The 
this is a nautiloid which was a very large creature it was 2.5 meter long and which is way longer than the creatures of the last period this is a gastropod which is similar to the modern day snails these are crinoids and those are bryozoans the coral also came now the next period is the period that was the least amount of time that covered the least amount of time it is the silurian period now the silurian period had these 2.5 meter long lobsters which were known as gyclopters now invertebrates started to spread on land and on land plants came now most animals live in the sea and freshwater fishes with jaw emerged in this environment like poraspis now for further study this is a poraspis which was comparatively very small to a human and this is a jackalopterus which was very strong also there you can see these pincers which were very strong to which were very essential to cut through the bony plates of the poraspis fish and this was the least amount of time and it didn't have many things it was like the corals and bryozoans crinoids of the last period just some new creatures came now coming on the next period is the devonian period it was the largest period and personally it's my way it's my favorite now these creatures known as dunkleosteus you may see have have seen the, them in in uh, video games now these large nine meter long fishes with not their teeth these they were blades these were not teeth these were bony plates very sharp to kill now pteraspis was a jawless fish uh, which was eaten by these dunkleosteus now in this as you can see by the fishes this was known as the era of fish because of the wide range and huge number of fish that swam in the ocean armor fish this is a pteraspis is an armor fish because it is covered with bony plates and uh, lungfish and amphibians came now the lungfish is a fish that can live on land for a small period of time and the amphibians also everybody knows about amphibians amphibians are the <coughs> mammals the uh, invertebrates or uh, vertebrates that uh, that walk on water as well as land now you can see that pteraspis is bony and it is very small compared to us it is only a hand now as you can see dental blades these are made of uh, bony plates which was very sharp nice for cutting through bony fishes now these dunkleosteus i had a very strange behavior to hunt they would and in this they haven't showed it but uh, it had bony plates on its uh, front so uh, like armored and it would try to bash its enemy and then attack it now moving on to the next period which is the carboniferous period when the when the earth was the hottest oxygen level was the highest and gigantic insects evolved now you can see at this dragonfly magnera was 72 centimeter long longer more than two feet like 2.5 feet or 2.4 feet now amphibians were less looking like a fish and started to look like a lizard that is this acanthostega which was 12 inches long like 1 foot 30 centimeter long and which was rad, uh, which was small according to a human now these 
sharks called the helicopterian came as you can see they had a saw like jaw in their mouth and basically they used it to hunt and these were 23 feet long and many uh, sharks and insects and amphibians began in this uh, coming in this era and now here's an interesting fact that the trees of this time were 30 meter long and this is magnolopis which was a dragonfly as long as 72 centimeter and helicopterian which is very large compared to a human had was 7 meters in length and this is acanthostega which had developed bones in it now the sharks have cartilage and moving on to the next period is the permian period now this is the last period and now land mammals came like as you can see this is a stemenosuchus which was a 4.5 meter long this is a lycosuchus which was rather not big but was a carnivorous now the earth was dominated by strange reptiles during this time great diversity of insects and ocean was covered with bony fishes now the largest extinction in earth's history took place towards the end of this period now in the end of this period a large meteorite hit uh, wiping out almost all the life and the new era the perm uh, the mesozoic era began began in which the dinosaurs came now also the permian period had its first dinosaurs like the dimetrodon this is not the first dinosaur but it is a very it was before the era of dinosaurs now the dimetrodon was a reptile with its sail now basically its sail if you break it it will feel rather high pain and it may die now the end we have learned about the periods now creatures in the paleozoic era now we have our acanthus era it was in real life it looked like this then we have pteraspis which looked like this the titanogorus kinesi which was a very new creature discovered in the September and trilobite which was a uh, one of the first IR supports thank you for watching please like share and subscribe